familiar with Joel Myers, obviously you get to call Laker games every day. So uh, what is it about Summer League that sets it apart from you know a regular season game? Well, we get a head start. It's a lot of fun for all of us because we get a head start. We get to see the first and second round picks, the free agent, the surprises, the value picks like Dominique Jones taking 25th and also a guy like Larry Sanders of Milwaukee taking 15th overall. Right. Now, were you at Game 7 for uh, the NBA Finals? I was at every game. All right, now, what was the crowd like there, obviously? You know, emotional, and emotionally distressed after three quarters of play. Save our seats. <laughs> was it the loudest you've ever seen it? Yeah, well, the whole, every game at Staples was outstanding in the postseason this year. The crowd was into it, and especially in the finals. All right, now, obviously, the big talk of the offseason has been LeBron and the Heat. What, are your, what is your general opinion on what happened there? Well, it's going to take time, it's, and I've said this before. It, it's one thing to get together and have dinner right. as a group, and it's another thing to live together. Because those guys are now going to live together. They share everything, including the basketball. Right. So we'll see how the chemistry pans out. So who do you think is the favorite right now? Still the Lakers? Well, they're the defending champs. Right. And the West is still better than the East. It's going to be more difficult for the Lakers than Miami because of the conference. The power is still in the Western Conference. All right, now real quick, uh, what has your favorite game ever been to call? Oh, I've had a lot of good games. I couldn't, it's not, you know, it's not like... You can say, who's your favorite kid? I got two boys. Right. They're both the same to me. I've had a number of really fortunate experiences. I've called great games. And I get to call Kobe Bryant every night. So I'm That's a very lucky person.